So I have cut this hair just basically I started from the back, sectioned my hair. Uh, after I sectioned the hair, done the, uh, the primitive uh, from the hair from the back uh, to nice uh, tri uh, triangles. So when you cut in the bob, it's from shorter to longer, shorter to longer. So you always, you go, you section like this, you section like that, do underneath it. It's, uh, forget about this part. You always, you can cut this part later on. So after you've done that part, and then you start cutting it. So from ears to ears to divide it, and same things from this side. And then starts with section, bringing everything to the middle. Everything's, uh, can you hold it for me? You bring in everything like this to the middle. Everything is coming to the middle. As you can see, everything is coming like this. So if I try to cut, um, especially when you're doing the graduation uh, bob, uh, try to use the small scissors uh, because when it is too long, it's gonna make hair holding it and you haven't got uh, space for it. So that's why the small scissors is quite good for it. So you just bring this one nice section. If you take this one and bring this section here and nicely just cut in like this, this one, it will make it uh, easy to cut. You can do the point cutting as well. By the way, it's very hard to wear the mask and visor and everything is really kind of steaming. So you have to be careful, always make sure it's nice and clean. After you brought everything to down, I start bringing even this hair back as well, just like this, and I cut it exactly to the point in the middle. So my guideline, point middle. I bring everything down. This is more kind of like a Victoria Beckham's uh, bob haircut. So if you want to do this kind of graduation bob, uh, after you've finished it, now I start straightening it. After I straighten the hair, section by section, I will bring it. And then now I will use uh, my longer scissors. And then I cut, point cut, just the end of the hair. And go to the shape I want, how high I want to go. Just like this. And then, I bring this hair down here. And bring, 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 everything's down. Don't just cut the hair until you see the final hair is just coming down as well. Don't just cut it. So after you've done this, if you have some longer one, cut it. Well, bring this one down here, like this, and then start. You can start from the back, or either you can start from the front. Just like this, small, small section first. After you've done that, now you know from here to here is perfect. Then you start taking and doing the front part. You can do it with free hands as well if you wish. Now you can see that the front part just few tiny bit is just long. So I wouldn't go anymore. Now I'll come to the other side gently and do this side exactly the same. Bring this hair up as you can see and then I will go nicely bring it down. After I make this part here nice, then I bring this here nicely on top. And then just cut. That part as well with it. And then you will see your hair is nice, it's coming down, nice line. It's really, that's make huge, huge difference. Um, now the the top part sometimes people they live in one side if it's the party from here what they do uh, one, uh, like 
the longer one will come here but when they push long one it's going to be much longer they cut in that way but what when i cut my graduation book i cut the hair in the middle so i don't cut uh, kind of from part there. i always cut from the middle so it's balanced both sides whatever part you move it that part is going to look good yeah if you want to share this video more than welcome share it guys it's absolutely fine i have no uh, problem with it you can share as much as you want with your friends with your colleague on your facebook so please do because uh we're here trying to help the other hairdressers uh if where they need uh, more uh, the, um, experience because end of the day we're all gonna have learn from somehow somewhere so the the other things i, I do uh, the product when I use on uh, the hair, I always re uh, explain to the client why am I using this product, what is it for, because that's aftercare. When the clients, be, if you hairdresser, you can't do the hair without product, then the customer can't do it without product either. So it's going to be very hard for them. So the client deserve to go home and do same hair without you. So how can they do it if you recommend the right product to the customer and to say this is the right product for you to use it and then the client will do exactly the same hair. So for that reason, always explain to your client what product you're using. So that's why always my products is in front of me, whatever I use, this is the... The Smooth Me Serum is from Maisie 2000, uh, 218. It's, uh, number two is not very strong, it's not very light. So number one is weakest, number six is strongest. So for instance, this is number three. So this is the, like a hydrating cream. It does hydrate the hair, it keeps the moisture. So when you blow dry the hair, it wouldn't uh, become static. It's uh, nice. This is like a hair mousse, but it's very, very soft. It doesn't uh, stiff, it gives nice volume, it's a root lift. And this is the heat protector, the same time it's keep the, uh, protecting the hair from the heat and uh, it's protecting, it's keep the, the shape as well. So all these things you have to explain to the client, otherwise, if you don't, that means you're not doing your job correctly. Now, the last part I'm doing it, just to go this part, guys, and straighten the hair. After I straighten the hair nicely, The hair absolutely is look amazing. So, uh, you know, the customer always likes to know why the hair looks so shiny. Because you're using the right product. If you don't uh, uh, explain that uh, to the client, the client wouldn't know. So always they're going to say, my hair doesn't look shiny when, same as when I'm in the salon. For that reason, explain it and you'll be amazed you know, that hair always will look nice. And, and you can, can you imagine, the client is like a, the free billboard for you. Wherever they go, if they have nice hair, that hair is advertising it for you. People, they're going to know, uh, they're going to ask, who cut this hair for you? Who done this hair for you? And that hair always is going to look nice, bob, nice, shiny. And then they're going to say, Ankara hair done it, Billy's done it, somebody's has done it. So it, that is free advertising for you. So always, always do that. This is the best way to do it. Now, I come to the final part of my haircut. I'm gonna go to this part here now. Again, I bring this one here with just the tip of my comb, bring it down and bring it here as well. Bring it like this. Is nothing says there. And come on, just look this hair. The waist is coming down. Just look here a moment. Bring here, mate. And look at that. Is is look amazing. Now, let me show the time. Beautiful. Happy? Now, the, the final thing, so if I want to make this hair a little bit more exceptional, what I do, I use my 406. This is, it's called brush me out spray. So basically with this one, instead of using the wax, I use this one. Uh, uh, Frances, she's my teacher, she's in Northern Ireland. Hi Frances, she's, uh, or was my teacher in Bourneville College. <clears throat> I really miss you too, Francis. Uh, come here, um, uh, I'll do a nice haircut for you as well. So now, I'm using the 406 
this is brush me out spray so basically it wouldn't stick and uh, make sticky but what it will do texturizing the hair and shape it. So if you want to give more body to the back, it's absolutely fine. But use your hairspray, normal hairspray. In the end, I will use the normal hairspray, the 607, which is very, very strong. I just use the end of the hair and then it's make it perfect, perfect look. So I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, thank you very much for your time, guys. I'll see you later. If you have any question, Please put it underneath there and I will come back and uh, answer your question as well. Thank you very much and I'll see you later.